2024 is shaping up to be an exciting year for graphic designers. Ready? Animation can help you breathe life into your creative work and enhance user experience. Now, this is a trend being pushed by new and improving tools like Spline. This is a browser-based 3D design tool often used to add dynamic 3D animation to websites. And Procreate Dreams, an all-new animation app that allows anyone to create engaging hand-drawn animations and motion graphics and enhance them with photos, videos and sound. Whether it's a looping GIF, like this floral-themed offering by artist Julia Chetwood, a subtle hover effect or full-blown motion graphics, animation offers endless creative possibilities. Adding movements to logos, illustrations or web elements can help you create memorable and immersive experiences. Authentic motion, fluid transitions and visual coherence are key to successful animated design. Animated design has never been more accessible. Speaking of which, we've crafted a hand-picked collection of graphic templates designed to help you effortlessly bring these trends into your work. Check out the link in the description below. This anything goes aesthetic has graphic designers, illustrators and digital artists reaching for their virtual scissors and glue and cutting, contrasting and combining ideas. This traditionally analog art form has found a home in modern day multimedia design. Expressing her creativity through collage, Australian visual artist Becky Orpin blends hand-drawn sketches with kids stickers, sweet wrappers, fabric swatches and international stamps. Her recently published collage style book contains souvenirs and various sources of inspiration that she's collected over the course of her career. And it's not just personal projects. Becky brings this highly individual graphic design trend to her brand work as well. Like these colourful cutouts for a kid's clothing store. The key to making this aesthetic work is exploring as many sources of inspiration as possible and experiment. Start by signing up for the Revue Collet newsletter and immersing yourself in the work of designers who embody this style, like Paula Scher, David Carson and of course Becky Orpin. Whether it's digital or physical, we expect to see interactive, tactile and immersive design turning heads in 2024. You might even hear this referred to as experiential design. You'll see this sort of thing in real life on the high street, at retail shows and event venues like the new Sphere in Las Vegas. Brands are finding that immersive experiences trigger an emotional response, drawing in audiences and holding their attention, like this colourful textural exhibition which was made with recycled materials and invited playful interactions in a public space. Grab a hold of this trend by incorporating tactile elements, responsive interfaces and augmented reality features into your work. Whether you're designing interactive data, touch responsive exhibits or multi-sensory experiences, look for ways to make those connections between brands, products and audiences. Saving up so you can incorporate the Vision Pro into your graphic design toolbox? Apple's spatial computing device is designed to seamlessly blend digital content with the physical world and has the potential to be a new and powerful tool for creating immersive experiences and exploring new frontiers of creativity. The Vision Pro headset allows wearers to interact with apps and digital content in a whole new way. Images that can expand to fill the environment they're in, mixed reality panoramas and immersive entertainment. But what does all this mean for graphic design? Well, for one thing, the technology might allow you to preview your work scaled up and in situ like an advertising poster on a huge billboard. Vision Pro also makes it possible to navigate a complex Photoshop or Illustrator project in a 3D space, which Apple suggests might enable a more efficient and intuitive design process. Its eye and hand tracking capabilities might just revolutionize how we create vector art. Or it might just be a very expensive new toy. It's still very early days, and there are lots of unanswered questions about the impact of this new tool on design, but we're here for the exploration and experimentation phase of this new technology. On the flip side, the introduction of new tech innovations might well inspire people to lean into more traditional craftsmanship as an antidote to digital advancement. As we hit the midpoint of our trend predictions, remember that experimenting with these design trends has never been easier thanks to Envato Elements. We've crafted a hand-picked collection of diverse graphic templates that are perfectly aligned with each trend. And here's the best part. If you join Envato Elements through the link in the description below, you'll unlock an exclusive 70% off your first month. Onwards! What goes around comes around, and whilst in the past few years we've seen a resurgence of 90s and naughty style graphics, we're also now seeing people head further back in time, to the 1970s. Drawing inspiration from traditional arts and crafts, folk design celebrates simplicity and heritage. Its increasing popularity is due in part to folk design's authenticity and opposition to ultra-slick modern aesthetics. 
The power of folk design is in telling stories and forging strong emotional connections with audiences. Nostalgia is a strange and powerful emotion and one that folk design is uniquely positioned to evoke. Like this family-themed creation that's a nod to old-school photo albums, intergenerational relationships and the idea of home being where the heart is. Often folk design draws on a connection to land, which we see here with these paper cutouts of native spices. Today, designers are using it to promote a sense of cultural identity and diversity, honour a rich tapestry of global traditions and make their work relatable. From physical brand books that sit on shelves collecting dust, to low-res PDFs that haven't been revised in years, traditional brand guidelines just aren't cutting it. To keep up with our fast-paced digital landscape, we need agility and real-time updates. And this is why a shift to constantly evolving, easy-to-share digital style guides is now underway. The rise of digital brand asset management tools and innovative solutions like standards will only accelerate this trend. These purpose-built platforms enable a collaborative approach in which teams can instantly implement changes, ensure consistent visual identity across all touch points, and maintain brand integrity. As a result, this trend represents a dynamic and responsive approach to graphic design resonates with today's digital age. Now, I'm a bit biased on this one. I was a teenager in the 90s, so I'm quite happy that grunge is making its way back, pushing that raw, edgy and rough aesthetic into today's graphic design landscape. Rooted in punk and alternative music scenes, this trend embraces imperfection and distressed textures, breaks the mold and sort of ties in with anti-design and brutalism. It signals a stark departure from the polished and minimalistic designs that we've become used to in recent years. Here, you'll see grunge is effectively used in this whiskey campaign artwork by acclaimed American graphic designer David Carson. Taking the traditional label, he gives it a chaotic collage look with the addition of hand scrawl text and frantic paint textures. And here, Carson rips up the rulebook again, quite literally, by playing around with distressed elements like his usual rough edges and torn paper effects. Grunge doesn't have to be muted, dull, and angsty. Experiment yourself by using high contrast, colorful textures, and chaos in your designs. We can't not talk about AI. Generative AI has arrived on the scene in a massive way, but it's only recently become more accessible and easier to bring into your workflow. As a result, more and more graphic designers are experimenting with these new AI tools just to see what they can and can't do. Take a look at what happened when branding expert Jacob Cass entered the same prompt into Midjourney and Dali. That's right, he got a flurry of pink feathered flamingos, all served up in seconds, and just by entering a short text description and clicking Generate. He's also experimented with AI-powered photo editor Lenza to manipulate and play around with his portrait and come up with ultra-realistic avatars. And now, with Adobe's generative AI model Firefly being integrated into new software, the generative fill feature and contextual taskbar make it easier than ever to add, edit, retouch, and remove elements from images. See the rise of AI as an opportunity instead of an obstacle. These tools can be fuel for your creative ideas and save you time so you can focus on creating your best work. Over the coming months, we expect to see more lively conversation around generative AI. My advice? Stay curious. That concludes our 2024 Graphic Design Trends Predictions. If you want to completely capitalize on each one of these trends, make sure you master the fundamentals by following our Graphic Design Basics video over on the Tuts Plus channel. And if you want to keep up with all the newest creative trends, here's a playlist with all the videos we've done. See you next time.